but I think this topic is really important. I mean, it's all for our benefit. What is the way forward um, when it comes to food labeling and, you know, understanding them? And I'll allow each of you a few minutes to summarize, um, you know, I, consumer scientists. Just. I think it's all about working together because okay. in a food industry, you have the food technologies there, you should have the consumer scientists there, you should have the dietitian there so that they can work together to come out with these figures to help the consumer because at the end of the day, it's your health that is very needed. Okay, Sylvia, yeah, let me say, Ghana should be particular about what they eat. Whenever they go out to buy something, even if you don't understand, just read a line to know whether there are facts in there or there are blah blah in there or ask the shop attendant or something okay. to help you. But sometimes the shop attendant is going to be They won't even show you labels. where the sugar is. We should, we should all try to read labels. Okay. Yeah. I, I, think, I think we should have a more separate time in educate. Oh no, this, this thing I think is really important and I, I would love to have each, each of you guys back so we can keep talking about this. I'm going to let you have the final word. <laughs> right, thank you very much. I think uh, what I've picked from this discussion is labeling laws. Okay, I think people are becoming more and more uh, conscious about uh, diets and things like that and therefore there's the need for us to now look into the nutritional facts. Okay, like I said, I mean our big brother's started some from somewhere and they've gotten to wherever they are they are now okay we need to catch up we don't need to reinvent the wheel okay like he rightly pointed out all these calculations are done and all that we will have to revisit uh, these things and then look at our labeling laws if there's the need for us to put in uh, uh what do you call it the nutrition information and this is the the message i'm getting that we have to now provide that. And I, I, I will also want to agree with Sylvia by suggesting that uh, probably there should be more education on yes. nutrition. Okay, so that it is not only the elite who can read and buy from the shops or, or, or I mean, buy the prepackaged foods, who should be conscious about what they eat. Because like the color system, I mean, for example. I mean, the, in, the, in, the, in the villages, people eat whatever they find and they can eat and eat. Okay, but apart from all this, my message that I want to leave with uh, consumers. <laughs> and this is something that we do all the time with selecting prepackaged foods. Yeah. Please watch what you are buying. If it is Expiry a can, dates. If it is a canned Expiry food, let me, let me start on canned foods. Mm -hmm. If it is a canned food, please don't pick any canned food that is bloated. Don't pick any canned food that is dented. Don't pick any canned food that is rusty or leaking. Okay. And then please check the expiry dates. We are working very hard but we still have unscrupulous persons in society who want to take consumers for a ride. If you have any doubt about the date markings on the product, please don't use it. You can always reach the Food and Drugs Authority and then report any activities of any persons who are selling food that should not be on our shelves. And then believe you me, the moment that information gets to us, we'll definitely go after these people. And we need to work together. Food safety, we say, is a shared responsibility. Thank you. That was a very good plug. <laughs> <laughs> FDA. Okay, I want to say thank you to my guests, first and foremost, to um, Kofi SL from the FDA. We all know who they are. And also, we've got Sylvia Techi, who is a dietitian, and Chess Alote, a consumer scientist. We will have them all back on another show. I do think this is a very important subject.